no place to escape to. This is the last time. On the left. <laughs> Well, in order to solidify his title of Magus, Crowley went on a magical retirement to New Hampshire. There, he caught a frog, <gasps> presented it with gold, frankincense, and myrrh, I love and, you, bapti frog. <laughs> and baptized it with the name Jesus before releasing it. Oh, you're so cute, little Jesus. Oh, I love you all. Go in there, Ribbit. lily pad. Ribbit. Hang out over there. Ribbit. <laughs> Then You're throughout the day, Crowley followed the frog around on his frog <laughs> business. Then that night, Crowley captured the frog again <gasps> and, and addressed it as if he was talking to Jesus Christ himself. No, oh, Jesus of Nazareth, how thou art taken in my snare. Oh, my life, thou hast plagued me and affronted me. You're such a cute little belly. In thy name, with all the other free souls in Christian Oh, your little feet. I wish I didn't have to do this. Next. Oh, I love your little feet, little eyes. <laughs> Next, Crowley condemned the Jesus frog to death. Execution what? for you! What did, what did the frog do? And he crucified it. Crucify <laughs> him. Even he, took, he took a little spear of destiny and poked it in his side. I just and then am, once, I wish I didn't have to do this to you, little guy. <laughs> you don't have to. He's Jesus now. Oh, my. And once the Jesus frog was dead, Crowley ate the legs to mm. incorporate it into his being um, and burned the remains to symbolically consume the old eon in fire. He's just fat. Well, hey, <laughs> another wacky Wednesday. <laughs>